Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. This is the final episode, at least, well, at the moment it's the final episode. It's the most recent episode, which came out on the 12th of this month. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the game. You're playing episode 5. Episode playtime, 2 hours. So, if you've not seen Fears to Fathom, or played the games, this is a episode psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by one the ones who survived. Uh, you are playing episode 5. Episode playtime is 2 hours. Now I will leave the first video at the top here. If you haven't seen the first video, I recommend checking out. And we have 4 other episodes, so... Check them babies out, baby! Let's jump straight in the game, gamers! New game. Okay, Fears to Fathom, episode 5. Woodbury Getaway... December the 8th. Okay, we are in an office. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Done with the day, it's night time. I think we should be going home, bro. What time did it say it was? Don't think it gave us a time. Although it looks like it says 8.30 p.m. on Nerf. What is with the music always on these games? Just always makes me feel like I'm gonna get murdered straight away. I mean, look at this place. What do you mean done with the day? Surely you're not here at like 2 p.m. 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Dark office, no one around. Edgy music. Hmm. Always gets the game rolling into horror. Where's the coffee? Guessing it's down this way, a little kitchen type. I hope you hear that. It sounds like someone's typing. Oh, we're not going in now. We get we're here for coffee. Coffee I shall get. Uh coffee machine? Needed to prepare prepare a cup of coffee. Oh yeah, what's the cups? Yeah, baby. It needed water. Uh cool. This looks like the worst cup of coffee known to man. Yeah. Why is everything about these games so unsettling? I need to put a lid on it. Come on, bro. Just take it, man. Is it going to be like the other games where eating and drinking is just gross? Okay, not, not the worst. I grow up, you don't need to slurp. Needed to use the restroom. You always need the restroom. Supply room. Ah, oh, it's up here. Restrooms. Hello? Somebody here? Colleague, hopefully? Someone is here. Hey, fella. What you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> the neck. <laughs> oh my god. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking if you need anything. Sorry to bother you. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? I know. Still working on that report. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. Okay. Brick. Let's... Toilet. So my name is Sid, I am a mandem, so we use the men's. Why can't I access the toilet? I can always leave. Or am I going... Sid, my name is Sid, or is it short for Sydney? Anyway, toilet is a toilet, am I right? I hate the way it always... Oh no, that's just a pissing meter. Is it locked? I'm like a man. What is that noise? Sounds like the fingernails tapping on my door. 
I was done with it. All right. Yeet. Why weren't you going to <laughs> What? I will get this done. Why won't you go in? Why? Why? Go in. Close enough. If I get jump scared, all F4 in. There wasn't any need for that. There wasn't any need for that. Who jump scares someone the second they come out of a fucking toilet? This early into the game, all I've done is drink coffee and piss. And I'm being jump scared, man. Love is to fathom. Oh, whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. I was literally pissing as he walked in. You almost gave me a heart attack. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Should I knocked before I came in? But there isn't usually anyone in, in here this late. See, why was why was Sydney talking about coffee to get through the day? It's literally nighttime. It's literally home time. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yes, you should have knocked. Mm. Yeah, you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock. But I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Why is he frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Well, well, well. I wonder who that can be. That's really rude. Well, yeah, that's me, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, just a funny story. It's not so funny. When when I was in college, there was this guy, um, like one of the cooks or whatever you want to call them. And there was like two days, two consecutive days. He would like get the plates and just scrape it all on the floor. Like, for example, chicken bones, like. They were serving like legs of chicken and he would just scrape it onto the floor. And then the cleaner would come in and be like, what the hell? Why is there all this food on the floor? Why is there bones all on the floor? Why is everyone throwing their food on the floor? And I felt so bad for him. Like I literally went up to him and said, the guy in the, the, guy in the whatever was like throwing all the food on the floor for some reason. So he didn't have to put it in a bin or whatever. Like you got to respect cleaners, like, you know. Or people that would just go into the toilets and wipe feces on the wall. Like, it's actually gross. Anyway, I stopped monologuing and going on a tangent. Let's play the game. That's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. I don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night, if you can. Wash my hands. See? At least Sydney's not stinky. She washes her hands. <laughs> that face, bro. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's finish our work and go home. Oh, it's just a kitchen. Do, 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 do. Such an odd place. Odd place for like a lamp like that. What the hell? My phone is ringing. How odd. I hope it's Janice, and not someone who wants to kill me. Hello! Go for Sydney Harper. Go for Sydney Harper. 
Hey, Who's Orp, this? it's Mike. Hello, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Who are you, my boyfriend? I don't like you. Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. No, I even cut out on a client earlier. Oof. You have a work phone. What do you mean? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Um, what? Ah, this guy's a total loser. Stumping breath. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming lately. Just more overtime. Always got to get that cash money, Damn, boys. Damn, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Yes. Cheering me up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. No! <laughs> I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Why don't you book it, bro? Why did you book it? Why have I got I'm working. I'm slaving away in the office overtime. At ungodly hours, and you're just... being chilling at home. Hey. I yes. was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Ah, uh, so it's not my official boyfriend, and he's dating. We're dating. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure, sounds good. This guy's weird. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thanks. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Yes. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> just hang up. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just stop yapping, excited, bro. I guess. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Hang up. I wonder what happens when you choose like the dickhead options, where you just hang up or be straight up rude to people. I'm pretty sure the outcome's always the same. Rainbow sheets. Am I supposed to? Uh... Well, I heard something. Oh, yo, another game? Let's go! Host key. What? Why am I dying? I can't do anything. Nothing is happening. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing was working. I can't shoot. Oh. Oh, you type the letters. Oh. Okay, it makes sense now. I don't know. I was wondering why I said that. Oh. Subtract. I'm so bad at typing. I'm actually terrible at this. <laughs> no. I was kind of overwhelmed with the amount of work. Oh, no. Uh, when that uh, I e he back and sub history. Why is it doing full stop? What? Why is it? Oh, okay. Maybe I just. <laughs> I thought it had a full stop. It wasn't working. I'm sure I press H. Why is that one huge? Was that all the train? Art. Oh, we're gaming. We're gaming. We're absolutely gaming. Oh no, other plant. What? Why did it do that? It stops typing. It actually stops typing. On other plant, I was perfect. Uh, circle light star. Law gone. Select sail. Come on, 10 health. 
Uh, they're common products. Uh, shit. Uh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh, oh shit. Why is it doing it? Ah, oh. he hit me though. Why didn't I die? Did we survive? We gamers. What can I say? We're absolute gamers. What, what can I say? I, what can I say? I'm not gonna lie. It was like stressing me to fuck out when it was like bigger words, most, most like multiple coming at me at the same time. Like anyway, uh, yeah. So 100, one, one. Wait, oh, wait, wait. So Apex Innovate, like you know, 69, 9099. Uh, so approved. Yes. Uh, 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 pending. Uh, tech score critical. Um, book sheet none. Now copy and paste. Ah, yeah, we're so good at our job. Absolutely, so good at our job. Yes, yes. Put one more in there. Yes. Yeah. Nah. It's not approved. It's pending. It's it's question mark question mark. Yeah. We're so good at our job. Can I go home now? Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to look up. Um. Wait a minute. That's so weird. If I just type any key, it'll come up with rents. Straight away, it'll just say rents. I, I, I thought I was going crazy, but anyway. Literally, AAA rent. Okay, whatever. Search. Even space. Oh. Okay. Sure. Rent a cabin. Okay. Where are you going? I don't know. Where are we going? Woodbury, <laughs> apparently. And of course we're going to Woodbury. It's Woodbury Galloway. 350 a night. It's 249. 199. 99. Oh, private cabin in Woodbury. Two reviews, only a three star. 99 a night. Parking space, kitchen, garden, Wi Fi, TV, fishing. No fridge? This one doesn't say fridge. Booking. Book a cabin. Your booking has been confirmed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. You're talking about yourself? So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Okay. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Isn't that every job? You know? I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested... Oh, so he's a friend. Maybe he fancies you though. Suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday. Leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Oh, so we're not even going to like enjoy the ride with Mr. Mike and... How do I have... Escape to hang up? Ah, uh, we don't need that. Rent a cabin. 
Hi, Sydney. This is Rick Wilson. Two hosts for two months. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December the 10th to the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We are looking forward forward it. He did say it's written weird, but it's not a big deal. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. 5176. Just in case he starts writing more stuff. <laughs> Great, thank you. I thought we booked it for October. But is October now? I, I don't know. Anyway. Yo, Harp. How have you been? Mike! I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn in for the night. WBY? What about you? Yeah, what about you? Not much, just keeping things afloat, my friend. How's the work at the new firm? Pretty much the same as the old job, just coding my life away. But the pay is better. Anyway, I've been thinking about our chat from earlier today. Oh, Mike. Like, I really don't know. Getting away sounds fun, but it'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend. All I'm going to do is just think about all the work I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Hart. We are talking about taking a nice, relaxing weekend getaway, and all your focus on is how to make relaxing. I haven't had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not even sure I remember how to, how to relax anymore. I work all day, and when I get home, all I think about is the work I didn't get finished. It's hard to just unplug, you know? Yeah, I've had a few jobs like that. Rough. And that's exactly why you should come. Think of it this way. Sydney Harper, you are like a battery, full of power and productivity. But what happens when you run the battery too long? It loses its charge. We've got to put you back on the charger. Harp, you'll go back to work after the weekend with more energy than ever. 20% more productivity, I bet. Come on. Who knows? Maybe you'll th thank me later. Plus, Snow is really excited about it. It really wouldn't be the same without you. Sorry, passed out last night. Damn it, fine, alright. I'll check in with HR and let you know. Take your time, Harp, but just know that whatever you decide, we are here for you. Smiley face, love Harp. Yo, Harp. Your cell keeps going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Call me back, I'm getting a little bit worried. Just booked. Ah, oh, okay, so that was on December the 8th. Okay, yeah, when we booked it. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. So he came to pick us up. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? So he's coming to pick me up. Why is this so creepy? Is this my ride? Is that Mike? That's my ride, baby. Any beers in here? Got a beers, baby? What the fuck? Where'd he go? Ah, oh, true gentleman. Hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's still how you hug people? Well, yeah? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Yeah, you stinky. Chuckle, fair enough. But for the record, I shower just for the occasion. <laughs> Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Oh, cool. Long hug. You look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'd be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right, this bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. I never feel comfortable throwing my stuff in like the back of a pickup truck. I just think if we have to stop, someone could just go... <laughs> Mine? Yeet? So, you know what I mean? But oh, that's broken. Had to. Oh, yeah. Throw my shit in the back. Ah! Why did that scare me? What? What am I putting in here? I don't. It's not. Let me in. Had to throw the bag in. It's not. Uh, um, mm -hmm. How? How? I'm pressing buttons like. What? 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 I'm, I'm just gonna press all the buttons. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a bag or anything to click on. 
Brother, please help me. What's wrong with your face? Why, why, what? Is it glitched? Is it, is it broken? Is it doing that thing again? Because I'm not holding it. Did I, am I supposed to pick it up in the elevator? It's like no sprint in this game. Wow, I left it here. Epic. <laughs> uh. Yeet. Yeet. All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Nod. Let's do this. Where's Nora? Oh yeah, she'll meet us there. The, uh, the route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Let's go, baby. Yeet. Yeet. 4.26 p.m. Let's go, baby. It was starting to snow. Mr. Radio. That's not much signal when you are out here this far. Well, that sucks. Alright, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's just try my luck. You don't talk much. So much for catching up. 50. Yeah. Up. Oh, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? How's your new job going? Oh, hello, Rick Wilson. We're working on this project that uses Machine learning t to predict market trends is pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you are shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Oh? Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. A school bus back there by an old house. Maybe it's a pr project. It's like GTA, you know, when you just have like the most random car, like whatever vehicle, and you just parked outside, fucking rhino tank outside your house. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that. Oh! Don't kill the deer. Oh snap, that was close. Well, keep your goddamn eyes on the road, mister. He came out of nowhere. You know, I read on the internet. That in Native American law, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. I oh, see so you're one of those, eh? What kind of message? Oh yeah, I had messages. Speaking of messages, uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't re oh, and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I uh, just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. The road near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you are not from this area. Oh my god, stop talking to me. I'm trying to read, bro. How far is it now? Are we even close? It'd be about an hour and a half from here. Okay, you know, oh, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean, Mike? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around. The headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. It's kind of beautiful. Can I just read the messages? Hold on, Rev. Hold on. I uh, just wanted to... Anyway. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from here. 5.14pm. This story is stressing me out. I'm trying to read. Now we're here. I guess I'll read it when we get off. Yo, Hub. Check that out. What? I can't... Mo's Pizza. I guess I have no choice. Guess we're on a little date. A little mill date. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you. This new GPS system or something else. This pizza this pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. You're buying. 
All right, then, Hop. Operation Pizza Pit Stop it's, is a go. Pre prepare to land. All right, messages. Uh, so, anyway, the roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the, from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way. We are on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. What are you waiting for? Your mum, bruv. Oh, there's more messages. Oh my god, there's more in here. I was literally with you. Why have I got messages? Friends free ever. Oh. There's so much reading to do. Oh my goodness. This one actually has so much reading. Okay. Friends free ever. Oh my god. Did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. Mikey. Lol lol. <laughs> did they tie it? Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know. Other than Baxter, he would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. The Beatles. Ah, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Love heart. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals! Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Hola. Seriously, I feel you girl. May as well a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We are practically zombies at this point. Exactly. And I miss the sea. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit me to hit the same. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor. But a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house? This winter, somewhere in Vermont maybe. We just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. I'm sure one of our old contacts could come could come though. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. I love it. I heart it. A getaway. I don't know Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip, but with Mike, lol. This guy's a player. He's got all them bitches. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll let get back with you after I think it over. XOXO. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in, but there better be wine involved. True. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'd be so good. Up, would you mind taking a lead on the booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do that, like I've not got enough work to do. I'm excited. Here's the thing, guys. I want a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think they can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Nora, that's no problem. We'll make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound well cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get when you are when you get going, okay? 